Hi there, Isabel Everett with your news briefing. Our country's rental crisis won't be improving any time soon, according to a new report by the Reserve Bank. It predicts skyrocketing prices and low vacancy rates will stick around for years, with sluggish home construction largely to blame. Police have cracked down on a criminal syndicate accused of laundering $1.7 million in stolen cash. Four people from Brisbane, Adelaide and Melbourne have been charged after allegedly setting up more than 80 bank accounts with stolen identities to transfer money out of Australia. Emotions have been running high in federal parliament today during a debate on whether Nazi symbols should be banned. Liberal Senator Sarah Henderson getting into a heated exchange with Labor Minister Murray Watt. President Senator Watt said the most disgraceful thing that he has to withdraw it. Thank you, Senator. It comes after allegations that Senator Henderson urged Victoria's Liberal leader not to expel an MP who attended a rally gatecrashed by a neo-Nazi group. The New South Wales Premier and Opposition Leader are making their final pitch to voters ahead of tomorrow's state election. And the TGA has proposed banning all flavoured vapes to clamp down on the growing addiction young people face and a vaping black market, with some doctors suggesting it's a public health emergency. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Hawthorne's James Warple isn't too concerned about the side's heavy opening round defeat to the Bombers. The midfielder believes things can turn around quickly, starting with Sunday's trip to Sydney to face the Swans. Round one's just one game, so we could go a whole year and not lose another game, and everyone will say, oh, how good to Hawthorne. But yeah, we are a young team and we're still learning, but um, hopefully it's an outlier. And Christian Salem has suffered another setback. The Melbourne Premiership defender was set to return from a thyroid issue through the VFL tomorrow, but has torn the meniscus in his knee. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Hill are one and done. This is SAFM weather. 21 and partly cloudy for the rest of the day across Mount Gambia. Tomorrow, cloudy and 20 and 20 on Sunday. The 2023 footy season is here. Stream your favourite games live from anywhere. Footy lives on Listener. Download now and listen for free.